The word that comes to mind when I think about Max is kind. And, you know, it's not the word that describes their brother, but I think it just translates so perfectly for Max because that's genuinely who he is. You know, he'll be the person in the room that if you speak and no one hears you, he will he'll be like, what did you say? And will take you into consideration. He's always had friends in all sorts of groups in all different ages, even as a teenager, you know, he wouldn't mind as a 14-year-old to go play with a six-year-old. And he wouldn't do it to be fun. He would be, he would do it just because he genuinely enjoyed the company of that person. I always remember when we were small and we would go to promenade with family and Max han ramlade ner i floden och det, det kunde inte vara en promenad utan att Max slutade helt full av jord och helt blöt för att han ramlat någonstans och han skulle hoppa över någonting men alla bara sa akta Max, akta Max hela tiden. Det, han var lite för liten liksom. Och... Max would always be putting on dad's old ski boots or helmets and trying to get any type of gear he could and just jump on anything. It, it didn't even have to be snow on the ground. He would, he would find ways to just push through, go up on a skateboard even with the skis and just roll around. And we're lucky enough that mom was there to document most of it. And you, you just hear her like, not even giggle, just you know, quiet, like, okay, good. And you know, not rushing to check or anything. Like she, she trusted um, the process, and I guess it's paid off. Because I mean, Max definitely knows how to fall. Wow! Yeah! Ah! Yeah! What's that? Yeah! Yeah! Vad gör Robina då? Det kändes ju helt naturligt för honom att börja åka freeride. 
Då tävlade då när han var typ 14 eller något och då så tävlade han mot alla 18-åringar och det gick ju inte så bra i början för han ville gå så stort och var för liten så att han bara kraschade och så men sen så det gick det ganska fort till så att han var ganska överlägsen över alla. I remember the first time that I saw Max Palm compete was in Verbier. Um, for the junior champs, it was the COVID year, and I think both Tabki and I had the same response of, oh, fuck, man, here it comes. Here it, comes. it was probably one of the most impressive runs. You know, the first time I saw Max Palms, just kind of thought he was a nobody, you know, and pretty easy to beat on the tour. Um, So yeah. No, I'm just kidding. Um, it was actually a total opposite experience. He's got a, a, uh, an event wild card. He's the reigning junior freeride world champion. And they thought, well, you know, Max has got a whole host of tricks. This thing isn't going to come around. Max with the double clean. The first double backflip in three all day. And a gigantic 362. An unbelievably precise landing. Another huge air over that rock stack and the claim. Whoa. Max Palm, the Swedish Frenchman. There, and a much bigger one. Little. Season is over. The doctors precisely told me that if I wanted to ski again, it could be really bad. My bone could die. I have been injured quite a few times growing up, but this time it was my first real injury. And I didn't know how long it would take to recover After some weeks of training and putting a lot of effort into rehab, I got the green light from the doctors to ski again. So I went up up north to see how my body was feeling and tried to get some skiing in. So we get snow on the camera, hold the muscle. Jag tror så här är lättast. Alltså. Filma den. After all these injuries and trouble I went through, I got this inner anger that I wanted to push myself so hard. And to be able to push me, I knew I had to put the work in. <laughs> Thanks to all the training I did this year, it felt so good because I was coming into this new season 
and I knew that my body was ready and I will be able to achieve all these new competition goals like winning comps and just go bigger and learn some new tricks in general. Beginning of the season we had this snow dump in Lizark and it was one of the first weekend we started skiing again and we just had the best time ever. We got to the hotel and saw everybody again, felt so good. I started doing some media stuff, some interviews, some the photos for the live stream and stuff like that. And I remember feeling good, like, like last year when I was doing it, I was kind of ashamed and stuff like that, but this year I really felt comfortable and I had no problem at all doing them. Bakura is a face that really suits my style of skiing. So when I got to the face, I found my line pretty fast and knew exactly what I was doing. So we have got our final category of the day, ski men top of the venue ready to bring the heat on the Vassima face of Bikera Barret. So I'm sitting there with my thoughts and I can't think about what the other people's going to do. I just need to focus on my thing. When I stood in that start gate I was in the zone. I was so stoked to be there. Straight back up to the top. This man made his debut on the Free Ride World Tour last year, right here, and could not have made a bigger splash. The first double backflip landed in free ride competition right here on this face. He's only 20 years old. Honestly, it feels like Max Palm has been around forever. But Max just handling it. Incredible upper section for Max Palm. Unbelievable control there. He does a big backy, pulls it round, rides out so fast. And then sending the fall line corner of that I landed corner. my last backflip and I remember screaming. And after that scream, I could hear the whole crowd just cheering and screaming. And that feeling you have in the stomach is crazy. Congrats, bro. Nice work.
skiing down after the ceremony, we had the most beautiful sunset. And I looked at Baptiste, smiled, and I knew in my heart that everything I had worked for the whole year before just paid off. That feeling of achievement was crazy. The calendar is really tight between Bakera and Andorra. When I got to Andorra, I didn't feel ready. I didn't get the time to breathe and get that reset mentally to be ready for another comp. It felt more like it was forced that I had to do something, you know? So Max Palm is going to be looking for redemption here in Andorra as he is looking to put himself kind of in position to take a stranglehold on the rankings. I couldn't believe it because I did the exact same error as last year. I was angry at myself at that point. Max, bro, how's it going? I um, was wondering if you are keen to link up in Revy in the next few days. Um, yeah, I'm going to be heading there and I'm really excited because it should be dope. I think there's snow coming.
in Canada there was an avalanche that sled just before my run and I didn't get the info so when I started skiing and I came into my main action I just remembered seeing only rocks and ice and at that point I got so frustrated because I knew I was going to get another shit score and I only wanted to go home. Fieberbrunn was my last chance and I was really hoping to put a run down to still get that chance for the title. Verbier was special. I was super excited to go there and finally ski this face, but it's something so much bigger than any other comps and so much more dangerous. Like the whole first face check, I couldn't even look at it because I was so scared. I was like actually feeling sick and almost wanting to throw up because I was shitting myself. And I think having feeling that I'm scared was scaring me even more because I've never felt that way before. I couldn't eat or sleep for the next three days before the comp because I was so scared. I was, my body was shaking and it was really telling me that I was not ready to do that comp. I think it was, think it was kind of like a When the comp got postponed, I got like a real relief. I just took some time and really thought about it. And it made me realize that it couldn't be worse. And I just told myself, okay, Max, you're scared, but you know how to do it. Mother Nature is deciding and this year there won't be any Yeti Verbia Extreme. This uh, Fiat Volto was still a great one and uh, 
what we'll do now is we'll go up um, to see the mountain and to have a world champion um, award ceremony. Thank you. <laughs> I think the coolest and inspiring thing about witnessing Max all these years were not only his victories and success but more each moment when he got down and stumbled because I knew he would face it again no matter what and this showed me that kid has resilience and it's pretty cool to see him progress while staying true to himself even if i had a shitty season and probably the worst one yet bad results avalanches injuries i definitely learned to lose but my love for skiing would never change it's my medicine and I know this will last forever. Every moment is faster now. What took you so long to figure it out? Till the moment, what shut you down?